Welcome to our tutorial about the navigation bar. In Volume 1 of this course, we already looked at how some of the navigation bar tools work. First of all, I'm going to create some geometry in model space. Press the space bar to restart the command. The navigation bar is currently docked on the right of my screen. Let me close it. In the event that maybe you don't see it, I'm going to show you how you can find it. Dynamic input is toggled on. Let's type in the letters NA. And there it is, nav bar, already pre-selected. Let's press enter to accept. Now we can switch it on or off. Another way to do this is from the view tab. Go to the windows panel, user interface, and just check navigation bar from this drop down list. Some of the tools available on the navigation bar are available on the ribbon under the View tab. Some of those tools are, let's say, Orbit, Pan, Zoom, and so on. And some of the tools are also available on the View drop down menu Steering Wheel. Show motion, orbit, pan, zoom, etc. To reposition the navigation bar, click this triangle at the bottom. We can select a docking position. I'm going to use top left. In reality, this docking position is actually for the view cube. If I uncheck link to view cube, we're able to freely move the navigation bar. It becomes a floating tool palette that we can dock anywhere we like. The docking options aren't available anymore. Here we can select available tools for the bar. Anything checked is currently showing. Some of the tools we're familiar with, like Pan, for example. Just click the tool to activate it. The mouse becomes a hand. When I press down the left mouse button, I'm able to pan my geometry. To exit the command, just press Escape. Or you can right click, and here's the contextual menu. We can select another tool, such as Zoom, or Exit to exit the tool. Let's take a look at the Zoom tool. It's got a number of sub options that we access by clicking that little drop down arrow. Most of these options we are familiar with. Zoom window. We create a window, and AutoCAD zooms to that window size. Zoom previous takes us to our previous zoom position. Zoom object, now select the object. Right click to finish the selection, and AutoCAD fits the screen with our selected object, and so on. Of course, we can use the middle mouse button to zoom in and out. The next tool is Orbit. There's a few types of Orbit options, three to be precise. There's Orbit, Free Orbit, and Continuous Orbit. Let's start with the first, Orbit. And as you see, my icon changes. Press the left mouse button, hold it down, and rotate our view. Once again, to exit, just right-click and select Exit. Let's double click on the view cube to get back to the top view. Now let's take a look at the free orbit option. This tool works slightly differently than the orbit option. Notice that if I move the cursor outside the green circle, the cursor icon changes. If I hold down the cursor outside the circle, I rotate my view around the axis in the center of the screen. When I press the left mouse button inside the circle, then I can freely rotate my view. Once again, to exit the tool, press Escape on your keyboard, or you can right-click and select Exit. Let's take a look at the last orbit option, Continuous Orbit. And as you see, the view moves continuously when we hold down the left mouse button. Right click and exit. And let's double click on home view. Double click on top view. 
If your view is upside down, you can use these arrows here to rotate. If I select an object before I activate the tool, watch what happens. Let's select my circle here, free orbit. The object becomes isolated. When I left click, I can rotate it. Press down the middle mouse button. This lets us use the pan tool. And let's right click and select exit to close the tool. Let's double click on the top view on the view cube. And this concludes our first tutorial about the navigation bar. Next, we'll take a look at the show motion command.